I think it's really important that we understand that women have different um, nutritional needs than men do. Also, women of different ages have different nutritional needs. I mean, a, a, a young girl or a teenage girl has different needs than maybe their menopausal counterpart. So we have to address these in our diets and the foods that we're choosing. And I think it's really important that women are aware of what some of these essential vitamins and minerals are. So I have some food examples here, B vitamins. I have some um, fish, red meat, chicken. These are great sources of B vitamins. I have egg, I have spinach, I have lentils. B vitamins are really important because they help your body to make energy. They help your body to make red blood cells. They help with nerve development in your body, energy production. B12 also helps with memory and things like B6, B12 and folic acid, they help to lower homocysteine, which is a marker in your blood that's a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Now you mentioned blood there, and I know one of the things I always hear in regards to women and blood is the importance of iron. Absolutely, so iron deficiency is very common in women, um, especially women in their reproductive years that are menstruating on a regular basis, and especially other women that are exercising a lot, right? The, the requirements. Um, are increased for those people because it's important to carry oxygen in your body. So you want to eat a diet that's rich in iron. And that can be difficult. I know a lot of young girls are anemic. A lot of women are anemic. Foods like tahini I have here. Oh. Um, I have dark chocolate, which is a source. Lentils. Beef is also a source. Fatty fish. Um, and leafy greens. So we have some overlap here with some of these... Um, foods and the vitamins and minerals that come from it. So these really are superfoods for women. Now, when you talk overlap, every time I speak with you, there is always an avocado presence. So are we talking about omega here or what are we talking about? <laughs> no, we're talking about magnesium. Oh, so magnesium, extremely important because it helps um, your muscles to be able to relax. It helps calcium to be able to be absorbed into your body. And it helps with things like PMS and cramps and muscle pain. So often women and men are deficient in magnesium. So some food sources, again, avocado, I have some almonds here. Dark chocolate is also a source. Um, leafy greens are a source and whole grains. So you think about like whole wheat bread, brown rice, these types of things are rich in magnesium. Now, you already mentioned calcium there, and that's something, you know, I do hear a lot of women, especially when you mentioned the grandmother's age, suffering from mm -hmm. osteoporosis, and that leads back to calcium, correct? Absolutely. So I always like to point out, too, if you're trying to get extra calcium, your doctor has told you to get a certain number of milligrams of calcium per day. That is your diet plus your supplement right? Not just supplement alone. So think about some of the calcium rich foods and getting that into your diet. I have some, um, some milk here. You can get fortified milk that maybe is coming from, from almond, from cashew. That's also a possibility. I have some sardines. If that's not part of your, your regular, you can get it from almonds and lentils, chickpeas, broccoli. These are all great sources of calcium. Hmm. All right. And I think to round things out, we have one more. Tell me about vitamin D. Okay. So the last is vitamin D and vitamin D is essential for calcium to be absorbed in your body. So you need to be taking vitamin D with your calcium. It's also considered more of a hormone rather than a vitamin. Um, and some other research that has been coming out about vitamin D most recently in the past, like five to 10 years is leading us towards vitamin D has some protective um, measures to it against some different hormone related cancers. So we know it's super important for our diet. You can get dietary sources. I have some mushrooms here and you get some fortified. So cereals are fortified, breads, milks. These are all fortified with vitamin D because we all know how important it is.